back YouTube we are back with another video you know a couple of days ago I said the best coin making method was clearly doing the team diamond two set and I'm just gonna go through not that exactly again but I you know I started off my day you know I got on the app and I'm like yeah let's try to get some let's try to get some cards so I ended up getting Delvin Cook for 200k okay I ended up getting all the 90s for under 40k. I got them for like 35 and 36k. Okay, and then I ended up getting uh, all the 86, 87, 88, 89. I got them for under 15k. Most of them were at 14, some 13, and stuff like that. But I calculated that the prices that you would pay if you were to buy the Delvin Cook for 205,000 coins. Okay, if you were to buy all of the 90s for 40k or below, which is extremely easy, guys. It's extremely easy. It would cost you 240k plus the 200k, right? Or 205k. So now you're looking at what? 445k so far plus 15k for the other 10 cards. That's 150k. It'd be 595,000 coins to make Antoine Winfield. Have you guys looked at his card? Seriously? I'm going to show you. With the Vikings chem, take a look at this dude. This dude is a flipping monster. Now, am I saying that he's going to be as good on your team? No, because, but look at this. Vikings chem, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, uh, unbelievable the dude is gonna be I mean I haven't played a game because I don't <laughs> I haven't played the game in a while but I mean it's unbelievable his stats but anyways 595k to do the set okay times that by 1.1 to get your auction house value that is 654,000 coins I need this card to sell for just to break even I want you to take a look at this let's see let's just check let's just check and see the prices let's go through it Antoine Winfield's power up 161k. You know what we're gonna put it up for? We're gonna put it up for 155. So we're gonna add that into our little thing. We're gonna put them up there for 155. You guys can see this as I'm doing it. Right? 155. Okay. Now we're gonna check and see what his regular card is going for. Like I said, it needs to be worth. 654k in order to break even for bo to sell both cards right so so far we're at 155 this card's worth 500k we'll break even this card is worth 639,000 coins we're going to put them up for 635 meaning we're going to profit about 130k on one set on one set you guys oh my goodness this is, I, I can't, I can't even, I can't even spoon feed it any easier. Jeez. I mean, you can see right here, Justin Reed. I did, I did the training reroll a little bit last night. You see right here, uh, I've went ahead and I've got rid of some of the cards um, already. I'm working on it. I mean, you could see it. I don't have to show you. You could see it. But I'm going to slowly do this. I'm thinking about doing it every day. Actually, and I'm not going to do it now until probably Thursday. Um, again, and the only reason is because there's no limited impacts anymore, but I'm going to keep all my quick sells until Sunday, I think, and I'm going to quick sell them all and see what happens. But you can see I got 100K training. What am I going to do with the 100K training? I'm going to do Campus Heroes. I'm going to do Campus Heroes today. Where is it? I'm going to do Campus Heroes. Why? Because I feel like if you pull a Raider or a stealer those cards sell for a lot and i feel like you can still sell the other cards for eight eighty five hundred or so and so obviously that's a bad card but if what if we pull what if we pull 95s it should profit right in theory it should profit now do not do not quick sell these cards that is a terrible idea unless you're going to quick sell a 95 I can I can get behind quick selling 95s, especially if they go for training value. I can get behind that, but I can't get behind quick selling any of the 85s. I'll be honest, I don't even think putting 85s in sets is a good deal, unless you're doing like the Raiders 
I think the Raiders cards, the 86s, 85 pluses go for uh, 12.5 or something like that. Um, I Cowboys might be something. I can't remember. The Steelers are going for about 15K. So you can put the Steelers in there, and, and that would be somewhat acceptable. But the other cards, no, no, no. Sell. Just sell. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead, and I am going to show you the results. All right, we are done. I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit of the results. You've seen some of the fire pulls that we got out of the deal. It was great. It was wonderful. Uh, but, you know, did we make profit? Did we not make profit? I'm assuming we did. As you can see, we got 495s out of the deal. But let's take a look here. Falcons. Oh, it's easy to sell these cards. I mean, quick, I could put it up probably for 9K, right? 9K. With the Team Diamonds coming out, it made a... I mean, it, it was nice, right? It was nice. It raised the prices of a lot of these cards. But you can see right here, Tommy Harris. I thought the Bears were cheaper, but we'll put them up for 9 k Not a big deal. We're going to sell them at a minimum. At a minimum of, uh, of probably 9 k per. As you can see right here, Quentin Jammer, a little bit more expensive. Uh, even better. Let's check out Let's check out the Titans and see where the Titans are at. As you can see right here, they're at 8,700. So we'll put him up for 8,500. We're not looking to hold on to these cards for that long. We're looking to get rid of them right away. Let's take a look at the Dolphins. What are the Dolphins going for? The Dolphins are going for even more. I mean, you could see where I'm going with this, guys. It is a nice, it is a nice deal. Uh, let's check the Steelers. Steelers are selling for 17K. Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. This is, I mean, this is just pure profit. Let's check out the Raiders. The Raiders right now, last time I checked, they were like 12 and a half. Look at that, 15K. I mean, you guys see, this is pure profit, guys. I know some people say, ah, this is a bad method, blah, 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 blah. That's all I could say is blah, 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 blah. You can see Ahmad Brooks going for 187. Now, you do need to take a peek at the 95s. If they are selling for training value, do not... Do not sell them unless you're just trying to cash out. Most of the time, I'm just trying to cash out, to be honest with you. Uh, because I like to see if I'm going to spend 200K, so I spent, let's see, 100K training. That means roughly I bought the training for 550K because roughly, roughly, I mean, you can see I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make bank on this. But 171, I'm going to take, we'll go through this a little quicker with you. 171, so we know we bought, we know we could sell the card for 171. Well, you got to take the auction house cut off of that. So that's 153. If I was to buy a 153.95 uh, at 1539, we are looking at a 6.0 training. So that to me would be a sell because I know I could buy training cheaper than that, right? You get where I'm going with this. But let's check and see. I want to see the Patriots. What are the Patriots selling for? You can see about that 8,500 or so. So that's good. As you can see, this is this is profit, guys. This is pure profit. You saw what I did. But anyways, yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's probably what I'll be doing. Oh, let's check the Cowboys. I forgot to check the Cowboys. Let's check the Cowboys. Yes. Yes. Guys, if you haven't hit that like button, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit it now. Come on, man. What you waiting on? What you waiting on? We pulling fire. But that's the video. I'll see you later.